Welcome to the first in a series of short grasshopper tutorials. Um, I'm going to call this one bendy line because we are going to make a parameterizable bendy line based on a point and a plane that will define x, y, and z. So I'm going to start off with a point parameter, make a point in Rhino, and set it. And the other thing I need to start is I need a plane. That's going to be my base plane, which defines essentially what, what we mean by up. And I'm going to, just, just to have something to work with, give it this sort of XY plane. So the first thing we need to do is to decompose that plane into its uh, constituent vectors. And under plane, we can use the plane components component to do that. Um, and the next thing we want to do is we want to start by moving that point up. Um, and by that I mean in Z. So we're going to transform our, let's call this the start point. Um, and previews um, we need a parameter to define you know, how f you know how what the magnitude of uh, each transformation is so let's go and let's call this the, um, the Z offset and that's just a, uh, a number of parameters I'm going to set up a slider for it. I'm going to let it vary from you know, 0 to 10 or something. So this is our transformation in, in Z. What we need to do now is we need to um, we need to take the direction from this plane, the z vector, and set its amplitude equal to our z offset. So I'm using the um, amplitude component under vector. Okay. So now, if I if I zoom in down here, you can see I have my my transformed point. That's very simple. That works. The next thing I want to do, and, and there are other, other ways of doing this, but I want to also move, do the same transformation with the parameter for x and y. So I'm just going to copy this whole infrastructure down and again. And I'm going to call this the, the x offset. And you, you can see I, I've kind of chained these here, and you'll see why later, because it makes it um, much easier to transform this into a cluster, which is what I ultimately want to do. Okay, great. So and now likewise, I'm, this is my x offset, so I need to hook up the x vector from my decomposed plane and the y vector. And then here, this is the point that I've moved now in Z. So I'm going to take that output. And again, you could do this by adding the vectors of X and Y together and just moving it once. You know, like everything, there's a million ways to do anything. But this time, I'm just going to move that point first in X. You can see that works. You can plan. All right. And then I'm going to move that point, take the output of that, so I can now move it independently in Y. Right. Um, and I'm going to make another parameter here because this is really the only point I care about. This is my the end point of my bent line. So I'm going to just label it as such. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to turn off all these previews. 
Okay. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to I'd like to draw a line from my start point to my end point, you know, that curves. And the there are several ways to do this, but for our purposes, um, the best way is we are going to do uh, an arc, which takes a start point, an end point, and a tangent vector at the start. So we know what our end point is. We definitely know what our start point is. Um, and the tangent vector at the start right here is going to describe sort of which way the line is pointing as it leaves its starting gate. And for that we're just going to use the, um, the z vector. And so you can see, if I zoom in here, you know, if I drew a line here, a straight line, it would be tangent to the curve at the start point. And that's it. So if I, uh, you know, if I now flex our vectors, you can see that it, it moves and it defines this little sort of bendy line. Um, and because this is our ultimate output, uh, I'm going to dump it to a, oops, not a circle, um, but I'm going to dump it to a uh, curve parameter. Turn the preview off. I'm going to call this, you know, out curve. And again, I'm going to sort of double it up so that I can turn the parameter off here. And this is just to make it easy to cluster. So you can see all this stuff in here. If I select it, before I make the cluster, I can see that something turns green, which means I want to turn the preview off. There's the end point. Nothing. So now if I select it here, I arrange and I make a cluster, I have a nice sort of custom component or cluster that um, will sort of make a bendy line. And what's nice about this particular bendy line is that if I give it a different plane, it'll define a different z vector. What's also nice is that it's written in such a way that if I give it multiple points instead of just one point, multiple start points, multiple points, then what I get is multiple bendy lines, which can all be controlled by a set of controls. And that's it.